What are emotions? You might be surprised by my answer. Though I use the word freely in the book and even give a definition, I am only distantly tied to it. I am not sure I believe in the concept of emotion at all. Many of my colleagues feel the same way and others haven't made up their minds. You may have noticed that we constantly change the number and kinds of emotions we think we have and it makes it into the regular press regularly. How can that be so confusing? Why don't we know? At the street level, I feel emotions all the time. I get angry, just like you. I feel joy, just like you. I become afraid, hopeful, thrilled. Given this ubiquity and often great intensity, emotions should not only be easy to define, they should be easy to study, right? Wrong. Like an ocean full of fish, there is a great deal below the surface that is not obvious at all if all you're doing is floating above it. Look carefully at the phrase feel emotions and you immediately encounter this complexity. Did you notice an implied separation? I am obviously feeling a reaction to something. Is that feeling the same thing as an emotion or is it a reaction to an emotion? If so, what separates the two? What about other types of emotional experiences like moods or motivations? Where does my personality fit in? How about my temperament? Does my body ever get into the act? Just ask somebody with anorexia if their bodies ever affect their emotions. I don't feel the same way when I'm disgusted as I feel when I'm trying to solve some calculus problem. Disgust and math must be different experiences, but what does it mean to not feel the same way about math as disgust? Is that an emotion too? <sighs> I don't mean to belabor the point. I actually give a definition in the book. Like I said, I call them post-it notes, indicating their powerful role in attentional states. But that's a function. It's not a definition. I don't know what an emotion is at all. I am not sure they exist. Mm -hmm.